Oh, it was shocking. I mean, uh, it, you know, after years of having everything work almost all the time, you know, this was instantly the challenge of a lifetime. And my body responded appropriately to this sudden life-threatening stress. I could feel, even as it was happening, my pulse and my blood pressure shoot up. I could sense my perceptual field narrow because of the stress. But I had the experience and the discipline to compartmentalize and focus clearly on the task at hand and set clear priorities, even in this unfamiliar, unanticipated situation for which we had never specifically trained and find a way to solve the problem. But it was absolutely difficult. It was a challenge of a lifetime for all of us on board, my crew and the passengers. I was able very quickly, essentially, to synthesize a lifetime of experience and training to solve this novel problem. And I was confident that I could land the airplane on the water. Of course, I'd never done it before. I didn't know quite what to expect. I didn't know quite how successful we would be. But I was convinced that if I could find a way to, to keep the airplane intact during the landing, it would float long enough for the rescue to take place. And we were very grateful that that's what happened. As time has gone by, I've become able to appreciate more the enormity of what happened that day and what didn't happen that day for all of us. And my crew and I did our jobs very well the first try. I was very happy about that. I never knew on which three and a half minutes my entire career might be judged. So I had to be ready and prepared in every way with well-learned fundamental skills with in-depth knowledge and the kind of judgment that comes only from long experience. Well, for all of us involved, this one of the biggest surprises was that this story was so big and did last so long. We assumed early on that it would fade like most stories do, but this one never has. And I've thought about that question a lot, and I think the answer has to be that it happened at a time in the world's history when we needed it, when we needed good news, we needed a reason to feel hopeful, we needed to be reassured about human nature. And I think this gave people hope. It was life-affirming. It made people see when we work together and we have our values straight what we can accomplish.